Hello everybody, Rat Dog back. Uh, haven't done an update for a few weeks and want to let you know what was going on. Um, I've, as you can see, I, I got my lights installed. Uh, I have my canopy 85% built. I haven't wrapped it yet. I'm still kind of debating on how I'm going to do that. Um, right now I kind of like the easy access getting in there. Um, so a lot of things have happened since the last time I did an update. I guess the main problem I had is I had a plan. And you know when you have a plan things don't usually work out so good. Things happen that uh, makes the plans change. So what my plan was going to be is as you can see I got some green chromes in there. Uh, I was going to add I have I had two clownfish in there, a coral beauty and a six line wrasse and I was going to put them all in here at the same time. Uh, my wife had a five gallon nano tank that had uh, that pajama cardinal and two maroon clownfishes which are now up there in that corner. Uh, a couple days before I was going to move the fish in there they decided to lay eggs and that threw my plan into a tailspin. I wasn't ready for them to lay eggs and and so I had that kind of changed things. So I had to get that six line wrasse and the coral beauty, get them out of that tank and put them in here prematurely. Um, I, as soon as I threw those clowns in, they've been picking on them ever since they picked on them. Well, at least the six line wrasse picked on those clowns when they're in that 20 gallon. Uh, so I've been trying to add my fish slowly, but as you can see, I finally got a couple fish that I really wanted for this tank. And I picked up a cleaner shrimp. I got a cell fin tang and a yellow tang. And that's basically what I built this tank for. Um, I added my hammer coral for my 20 gallon in there and I have a leather toadstool up there on that rock. And that's about it for now. These guys had a rough couple of days, but that fin's a little tattered. But everything should uh, work out for them. Uh, the lights I added to this is the Mars Aqua. It's too far to hang it from the ceiling, so I ended up just putting them on top. Put a little hole out in there. Um, I'm planning on wrapping this. I'm gonna think I'm gonna put some hinges up here to just make this whole thing open up. Do that on each side. Um, I still haven't wrapped my stand. I got my refugium in there. I picked up some chedo, and, and that's doing really good now. So now the story with these two is they laid eggs on a rock and I didn't know when they did it but they did it so I was going to try and raise them but they hatched a day early and I guess they got sucked up by the end of the sump and two days later they laid more eggs on the same rock so a couple of days ago I figured they're I think it Wednesday they were going to hatch so I pulled that rock out and I have it in a 10 gallon tank and hoping that the fry survive and I'll put that rock back in here and obviously she wants to lay some more eggs she's still fat so I'm working with those and that's why they're not in the big tank they were that was going to be their home uh, but I got these two fish when I bought that tank, so they lived in that tank for five years before that, and they were going to go back, but I don't know when or if I'll ever put, ever put them in. Meanwhile, though, 
I'll be back after I get these guys in the tank. All right, so I got everybody in the tank. The skunk trip is over there hanging out on rock, trying to find, find, find himself a little home. Now yeah, that is probably not I'm hungry. Myself in tang, moving around, checking things out. He's only been in the tank for probably about a minute. And then my yellow tang coming over here to say hi. Everybody seems to be doing good. Nobody's picking on anybody. So I'm almost complete with the fish that I want to put in there. There's probably maybe four or five more that I want to get in. And then there's soon to be corals. If you have time to look at get some corals for this tank. I am wanting just two in here. Like, hey, I know, I know you from my, you're my neighbor. You're in the other bag. All right, well, that's this update. I'll uh, keep you posted on this tank and my other tanks. Uh, maybe I'll show you my little 10 gallon real quick, see if we can see any fry in there. Okay, so. A few weeks ago, these guys right here laid a bunch of eggs on a rock that I had in here. And I didn't know when they when they hatched um, or when they were laid, so I didn't know what day they were going to hatch. Well, they hatched a day earlier than I expected. Um, I thought they were lost. Because uh, I didn't have my my sump turned off and any of my pumps. Uh, so then a couple of days later, they laid some more eggs um, on the same rock. This time I knew what day they had laid them. So a day or two before they expected the hatch, I put them in this tank. This was the rock that they had on. They, uh, let's see, they spawned them on that rock. And so they hatched in here. So somewhere underneath this rock, there are fry in there. I've seen them a couple of times turning the light on. So then, uh, since the rock is in here and I've been scared to put it back in the other tank because I don't know if the fry are living in this rock they decided to lay eggs on the back of the glass back there there's only a few left that should be hatching tonight but the past few days I saw something in there in that hole so I shined a light on it see stuff swimming around in there. I just got finished throwing some food in there and I could see them swimming around in there. At first I just used to see one or two but tonight see a few of course now they're not out and my glass is so dirty that we can't see them up oh, they're running a couple swimming on you see that so I know I have some in there swimming around that are at least probably about three weeks old oh, there went one about three weeks old maybe a little more than that she's laid two more sets of eggs like I said, she had a whole bunch on that wall. But they would dwindle down. I mean, there was about 500 on that wall at one point. But 
now there's not many left so that is uh and i've been i've had to neglect this tank because with all the fry around i'm having trouble i can't really clean the back wall or i haven't done any water changes to this since she started laying eggs and she's gonna be laying more eggs after these hatch pretty much guarantee that so that's the update here and uh if you uh, like what you see go ahead and hit that like button and uh subscribe and i'll have more updates have a good night guys